I was born in Jamestown, North Dakota, but well, I spent my whole life in South Dakota. Out of high school, I knew I didn't want to go on to college. My father was in the Army, and I guess most everybody in our family had went Army, so I just carried on. When he joined the Army in 1969, Specialist 4th Class Michael Fitzmaurice had never even left his home state. Just a few months later, he found himself halfway across the world in the jungles of Vietnam, hoping to serve his country in any way he could. My action actually was up on the old marine base called K Sun. We were supposed to just be guarding the airstrip. I had just come off a of guard duty and stuff started coming in and you know, said we had the sappers already through the wire. And the sapper was one of their most highly trained people. They were kind of like a suicide bomber would be today. They come through the wire and just run into the bunkers and blow themselves up. All these bunkers were connected by like trenches and they were down in those already. They were just coming in there so fast. And by the time I figured out what was going on, I got back to the bunker and got a few of the guys up and we just got in the fighting hole and trying to shoot off a few of them. There was stuff going off all over. I had looked out and here comes somebody up the trench and I thought it was one of our guys and by that time, he had already threw in a grenade, and I, I guess I threw two out, and then about the third one, I just covered up, and because with the holes weren't, there was no place to go, or I'd have been gone. <laughs> I really don't remember much about it. I just remember somebody said I had a flak vest and covered one up, and it blew up, and then I flew out of the hole. I was banged up pretty good and kind of blind and I was still still functioning so I went back in there with my buddy and we just kept fighting and I didn't figure on coming out of it anyway so I thought maybe I could save my buddy and we had <laughs> nothing else to do I guess just keep going until you can badly wounded and barely able to see, Fitzmaurice nonetheless kept going. He jumped out of the hole and began firing at the enemy sappers, aiming with the assistance of a nearby comrade. When his weapon was destroyed by a North Vietnamese grenade, he felt around the ground for another. Unable to find one, he engaged the enemy in desperate hand-to-hand -hand combat, killing one man and driving off several others. Despite the increasing severity of his wounds, Fitzmaurice continued to fight, refusing to be evacuated until the engagement was over. I'd been out of the service, I think, two years when they called me. Or at, I worked at a packing house in Huron, and I received a telephone call out there that said I was supposed to report to Washington to receive the medal, and I was just awestruck. I, that was a kind of the second time I ever left the States. So I don't know what made me do what I did. I was just doing the job I was supposed to be doing and I do not regret it a bit. I guess your friends aren't, not only friends, they're almost like brothers. And well, I'm just glad that they can still be alive and enjoy the rest of their life.